going on everyone so some exciting new updates is i am about to head over to my appointment to have electrolysis done um, if you're not familiar with what is electrolysis it is hair removal more permanent than laser hair removal itself because they go in with a little fine needle that uh, pushes out some electric current and kills the roots really deep within uh, so this hel electrolysis is required if you are going to undergo bottom surgery and it is also required that you pick your donor site at least six to nine months before you have your bottom surgery um i'm still waiting for my bottom surgery schedule to uh, be released which is probably going to be next week but the forearm is the donor site i am choosing and in my case it is going to be the left forearm because it is my non-dominant hand before i go to electrolysis a tip that i want to share with you guys is to apply some numbing cream. This is something that your doctor can prescribe to you. And a lot of times you can even buy it over the counter. In this case, you can apply some of that numbing cream and they've also told me, make me even taking a Tylenol before you go in. I'm not gonna do the Tylenol, I'm just gonna apply the numbing cream. And I will take you guys along with me to my appointment so you guys can take a look at what that's like. My first session is 90 session uh, today and then I have one for tomorrow for 90 sessions. I don't know if I need both, but we'll see. So I'll take you guys for the ride and let me apply this numbing cream real quick. One sec. Are you gonna go pee? He's potty trained. I need your help to apply my numbing cream. Cause I know you love playing doctor with me. I mean. <laughs> No comment. Don't be perverted. <laughs> I know. All the free range you had when I was recovering. Do you have a glove? You need a glove. I don't need my fingers Hold to be on. Numb. The electrolysis specialist did tell me. What? If you don't have numbing cream or even if you do, sometimes the trick is you can just apply ice to the site and let it sit on there to numb. That's you another solution. No, I don't want ice. <laughs> Even if it hurts here and there, I've been through worse, I guess. Like, look at this arm. Look at that big old scar. Stitches. Which is why I'm using also my left, even though it is my non-dominant. It worked out well. So, when you apply it, you have it sit for about 30 minutes prior to your session. It's 2.09 and my session's at 2.45. Uh, she said another helpful tip is put some saran wrap. saran wrap after you apply it so it can really absorb in there. Yeah. Template says seven inches. Just either way, it don't matter. If it's a little bit more, just as long as it's not less. So I just arrived at my electrolysis appointment. So I'm just going to leave it like this, about to walk in. Oh shit. I think I entered the wrong building. I need to check my GPS. That is where I'm heading. 2700. So place I'm having my electrolysis done is all out electrolysis. They have a specialist, her name is Cheryl. She's been great. I saw her one time for a consult. Um, I'm about ready to go in for a 90 minute session and let's see how it goes. It's time. What? The setting that comes up for the arm, but I gotta see if um, the hair releases. Okay. If it needs. I did try that numbing cream and took your advice. Put some saran wrap. Okay. We'll see if it actually. Does anything for it? We just need to figure out which way the hair's growing.
you guys, so I just finished up a 90 minute session. It was my first electrolysis session and overall went really good. So if you take a look, like I mentioned, I'm doing my left forearm right there, a little bit of red. It's just the after effect, the sensitivity. Um, you can kind of see what she was able to do in the first 90 minute session. So we'll be focusing on the other part of it tomorrow morning, 8 a.m. Um, I'll let you guys know what that looks like. I'm really hoping she can get as much as she can for this session because technically my insurance is going to pay, I think about 80 to 90% of this. Um, but for next year, my deductible restarts, meaning it's all gonna come out of my pocket, but it will go towards my deductible. And I can go into more details about that if you guys have questions. Insurance is just full of shit, <laughs> if I'm being honest. But uh, stay tuned, I'll give you guys some more tomorrow. Morning everyone, this is Garen Ray. So it is the next day, session two of the electrolysis. I follow the same technique in regards to saran wrapping with the Latocaine numbing cream. Okay, so I just finished session number two, which was again, a total of 90 minutes, the same as my first session. We're not able to complete it. I have more hair than anticipated. And thankfully she has an opening for tomorrow at 7.30 a.m. So I will be back for session number three tomorrow, another 90 minutes. So today is session number three of my electrolysis. Did the same technique as I did the first two days. All right, so I just finished my third electrolysis session uh, here at All Out Electrolysis with Cheryl. Um, we were not able to finish all, <laughs> everything on the forearm, but that's just because the amount of hair that I have. Invoices, if you guys could see that, it cost me $120 per session, and there's three invoices here. Right now, since it is December 30th, 2023. I will be able to submit this through my insurance because they just approved it and I met my deductible. So that's gonna really discount it. But next year I will be paying the remainder out of pocket mostly because my insurance requires me to meet my deductible before they send me any kind of reimbursement. Uh, but which is all right, you know, it's something a part of the process, something I knew that I'd have to foresee in the future, especially if I wanted to do bottom surgery. So it's one of those things, just putting that investment towards yourself. But anyways, let me show you guys what the outcome of session number three has resulted to. So there's still some hair in this area. You guys can see. Still got a good line right there to finish out. Really important that all of that is done. And then have some more along the other side. Yeah. So. I'm going to guess that's going to take another good three sessions. Two or three sessions. The next step, once I do clear that area is I want to give it probably about a month before I go back because that's when you can expect your hair to regrow um, which is something that needs to happen for the electrolysis to see where treatment needs to be made but the idea is every time I go there will be less and less hair until there's no more when you have electrolysis and that little electric current is shocking uh, deep into your the root of your um, hair follicles what will happen is it will create another kind of regrowth and split into two, which is why sometimes new growth can occur in the process of having electrolysis. And that's also why you want to give yourself that six to nine month window to make sure there is absolutely no hairs outstanding in preparation for your bottom surgery. So if you guys have questions about what it felt like or anything that I've already mentioned in the video, just leave a comment, hit the like and subscribe, and I will talk to you guys again later.